Horny frat devils You're on YouTube. have one objective in mind, and that is to de-virginize you girls. Yeah. Uh, these horny frat devils have one objective in mind, and that is to de-virginize you girls. Uh, the first step. The first step is the hardest step. Number one, locate a real live virgin girl. This is the hardest step because so many of you girls are so promiscuous. At University of Florida, I know why, there's no crack whores in downtown Gainesville. All the girls at UF are putting the crack whores out of business, spreading their legs, giving it away for free to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. But uh, once this horny frat devil has located a virgin, uh, the first tactic is invite this poor, naive, innocent, unsuspecting virgin girl to a party. Uh, we're in Gainesville. Maybe there's some rednecks. Maybe you like a, a tailgate party. Uh, I know you. I know you frat boys like keg parties, frat parties. Doesn't matter what kind of party. Invite this naive, innocent, unsuspecting virgin girl to a party. Pants party. Tactic number two. Once he's gotten this girl to the party, he turns on the gangster rap and our rock and roll music and tries to get her uh, roused up, uh, get her hot, arouse the sensual passions of the opposite sex, get her gyrating and grinding, uh, get her all roused up. And then he moves in for tactic number three. Tactic number three. He puts on... He tries to get this poor, naive, innocent, unsuspecting virgin girl to partake of drugs and or alcohol. Many a virgin girl has lost their virginity under the influence of drugs and or alcoholic beverages. Then this horny frat boy moves in for the next tactic. Now girls, if you're not out of here at this point, you better run, baby, run, because your virginity is in jeopardy. He takes you into the bedroom. Show us. And once he gets her in the bedroom, he goes for the premarital kiss on the lips. <laughs> now, once he's gotten away with the premarital kiss on the lips of this poor, naive, innocent, unsuspecting virgin girl, he moves in for the premarital breast fondling. <laughs> now, at this point, girls, if you're not out of here yet, you better get out. Run, baby, run! <laughs> he sneaks over to the drawer. He reaches down, he opens up the drawer. And he reaches down. And he pulls out a dildo. <laughs> Sir, how would you know? <laughs> the Barry Manilow music. <laughs> now at this point, Closer? At this, music. Point, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> girls, he moves in for the three oldest lines in the fornicator's handbook. I love you. How do you know that? Because I've done it. <laughs> the first line is the oldest line in the fornicator's handbook. Now, girls, when they tell you this, don't believe them. They don't, when they tell you I love you, it's not that they don't really small. love you. They just want to engage in lust, lust, lust. Line number two, in good old Bill Clinton style, he bald face lies right in her face and says, skeet, skeet, skeet. The only way, young man, are you listening to gangster rap music? Okay.
he tells her, the only way I can truly express my love to you is to make love to you. And your praise. And then he makes her feel guilty by telling her, if you truly love me, you would make love to me. So there you have it, girls. If you fall for it, don't blame Brother Micah because I tried to warn you.